Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Tokyo Xanadu EX Plus. Um, so in the last, so last time out we started up Chapter Four, um, and we were beginning to head through, uh, starting to do basically the um, side quests and all that kind of stuff, uh, because we're in our uh, f uh, free time at the moment, before we have to go to Kyo's um, to Kyo. Different character. Uh, sorry, uh, Ko's part-time job. So that's what we're doing in this part. It's more of the side quest stuff. Um, so let's just get on with it, shall we? So with this one, you're going to... Um, <coughs> my apologies. You're going to Mr. Yanagi in the sports... Uh, and his um, sports um, shop. Um, basically, he has a pair of shoes that... Uh, basically, a new pair of uh, shoes from this major... Um, equipment manufacturer and basically he wants us to kind of test them out but they're lady shoes so that means we have to ask Sora to come and try them out for us so she's again um, so yeah we have to try out the M lightning shoes um, and Sora's the idea to try them out in the eclipse so that's what we're gonna do <sighs> so this quest is a bit of a pain in the ass so we've got to use the flyer, the. F so we've got to use the power and flying skill as Sora ten times. So we've got to do this ten times, and then we've also got to run. I think it is for, if I remember correctly, one hundred steps. And once you've walked for a hundred steps, and done all ten, uh, ten of those um, those attacks, then we can just leave and head back to beat up with Mr. Yanagi um, and yeah the quest is basically done at this point <clears throat> um, this is a good little side quest to do because one it's it's kind of annoying <laughs> to do because you know to do it's very specific um, you know what I mean so it's a bit of a pain in the bum but um, what you get out of this is you get some healing stuff uh, so you get some healing items, which are very useful, and you also um, Sora also gets to keep the M Lightning shoes, uh, and that at this point in the game in your first playthrough is really fucking useful. It does, um, you know, improve her um, uh, defensive abilities quite a lot. So it's really useful to have. <clears throat> But as the uh, text showed there, we've got a new sub area, a new sub, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A new sub event that's going on at the school. So go back to the school and we'll get this little cutscene where Miyuki is going, M Mitsuki, the, whatever, <laughs> the, the president. Uh, she's going back to the school. So she's going back to the student council room, and basically what this does is this gives us an extra um, affinity shard to kind of do our uh, friendship episodes. And Mitsuki's friendship episode was added. Friendship episode was added. So it's kind of nice. Okay. Now this one is really super fucking easy on New Game Plus. Uh, <laughs> so basically... Um, this lady is a, a seller of fine gems, and she's really uh, obsessed with a certain gem that she's seen, which was obviously found in the Eclipse. <sighs> so, she wants a jewel out of this, out of this world. So she wants all five types of gems from the Eclipse. Uh, once you have all five gems, talk to her, and that's the end of the quest. But because of my new game plus, basically... I already have everything. I already have all five gems. And in fact, actually, if you go through each of the dungeons at this point, even in your first playthrough, um, if you go through each of the gems and don't sell any of the uh, of the items that you get from the Eclipse, then you should have all five gems by this point anyway. So yeah, this, this one is actually a non-side quest, really. You should have them uh, basically pretty easily. You should have them pretty easily by this point. So, and for that we get the bronze charm. Uh, 
I can't remember what the Brahma's Charm does. I think it just increases your defense. I think that's really it. So, you know, it's not the most useful, but it's, you know, better than Nout. <clears throat> and for that, we also get our Fauna Gems and our Virtue increases as well, which is really useful. Okay, now this one. We're going to the Endor Pool for a hidden side quest. These basically happen from time to time. I think there's one hidden side quest per chapter. Uh, and basically, um, what this means is that um, when they say it's a hidden side quest, it doesn't appear on the Niar system. Instead, what it is, is there is just... Uh, you can go, in this case, you can go to the pool area, talk to the teacher here, and she will get you... Uh, uh, start talking to you and get in, you involved in a quest. Um, <clears throat> so, for example, here she's basically trying to whip this first year into shape. <laughs> um, I like that. I like that choice, by the way. Be cool or be warm and dry. <laughs> uh, anyway, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. But uh, basically, Spartan training is the thing. So basically what you do here is you talk to... Uh, she basically wants uh, Ayato to basically get better at swimming and wants him to kind of show some hustle um, and improve his swimming times. Um, <clears throat> uh, so, yeah, apparently this teacher does a lot of crazy shit <laughs> to try to get him trained up. Um, but, so, yeah, the whole point of this is that basically you want to go up against you're going to race against him and you gotta try and win i think you have to win the first one and i think the second uh time you go up against him uh you don't have to beat him but it you get more i believe you get more virtue points i want to say and so, yeah, we're going to be doing swimming. So this is how swimming works. You basically, when it goes to L1, click L1. When it goes to R1, click R1. Just keep doing it alternatively, and it speeds up as you go. So it makes it kind of... Yeah, like I'm really sucking here. It does. It is tricky to do. The first one, you can fuck up a fair bit, and you'll still win fairly comfortably like I did there. The second one, you really have to be... I wouldn't say you have to be flawless... But you have to be really, really, really on top of your game in order to win the second race. Um, I think with this one, it's kind of supposed to be the point. The point is supposed to be Ayato really isn't into this. And he really doesn't want to do this. Um, so, you know. <laughs> it's supposed to be like will win, you know, you'll, you'll win pretty comfortably. So, there you go. And so this is where Miss Saki is kind of like to him, Hey, show some hustle, bitch. <laughs> You've got to do better than this, you know. You you can do this. You can win. You're better than this. Um, by the way, even if he is a first year, he is on the swim team. <laughs> so, I mean, and Ko isn't, so I don't think it would be a disgrace for, him, for us to lose to him. But, whatever. Let's just move on, shall we? So yeah, once you've done the first race, you go straight into the second race. And this one's a fair bit harder. Um, basically, this is recycled from uh, Trails of Cold Steel. It's the There's an exact same kind of thing here. Yeah, so here, it wants you to... Because you can see, like, it's a lot fucking closer. And if you keep fucking up... Oh, oh, oh! Damn it, I just about managed to beat him, but it was a fuck ton closer. So you know what I mean? If you fuck up way, way, way too much here, um, then you actually will lose pretty handily. <clears throat> so yeah, there you go. And we've helped him get a we helped him get his kind of groove back. Helped get his momentum. You know, helped him to um, uh, get his uh, brain back into gear. You know, that he wants to. Yeah, so he's been in... Oh, he's in the cheer squad, that's what it is. Uh, and so he, he wants you to fight. And so, you know, he's 
Regained a bit of his willpower, his strength. Which is kind of awesome. Patches and cheers in the auditorium next. Yep, what? <laughs> it was practice today. Allegedly dip. <sighs> yep. Fuck no. <laughs> and Ko's like, ha ha ha, good luck Ayato, don't die man. See you later. <laughs> I've got other stuff to do. I can't stay too long. Honestly. I changed the uniform and fled. There you go. And you get 400 gems as well as your virtue increasing and your courage increasing. So that's well worth doing. Okay then. So now it's time for our optional um, eclipse. Uh, and this one is only available in New Game Plus. So you go to your granddad's dojo. And you go into the far corner of the of the doge of the um, area, and there it is. So let's head in, shall we? The sacred land of time. So it's mostly fire, strength, and special. So yeah, let's get rid of. Uh, by uh, Sora, I'm going to be sticking with Yuki and Asuka this time. Time to get going into the sacred land of time. Yeah, right. I'm trying to remember, actually. It's been a while since I played this dungeon, but, um... Yeah, this dungeon is... Um... Honestly, it's a pretty straightforward dungeon for the most part. Uh, it does have uh, branching pathways, like, pretty early on, because there's a branching pathway pretty much as soon as you move on. Uh, get out of the starting area. Ow, my face. Get out. There you go, you're dead. Although he was quite strong, he did manage to take two of those um, full power shots <laughs> without dying, so yeah. And like I say here, you've got a, a branching path. There's a lot of shit for you to pick up. And that opens up the way to the way forward. That's what I mean. I mean, uh, I like the aesthetics of this place. It's kind of a very uh, cave-looking kind of area, which I kind of like. And um, fuck you. Um, <laughs> so, and you know, I I do like it how it's designed. Although, wait, how did you shoot? Whatever. Um, but the <laughs> so yeah, I do like how. Uh, how this area looks and um, but it's still a fairly straightforward area oh god that did look bad <laughs> with the th with the thick with both of them kind of bouncing down and this guy's design is pretty cool it's got quite a cool looking design all that fire and stuff That's it. That's it, Hiragi. Finish him off. Uh, those guys are actually pretty strong as well. Like they are relatively late game um, additions, uh, and they're pretty fucking powerful. To be honest, they uh, can cause a pretty good amount of damage. Hit him in the face. There you go. Um. Again, something else I like about this area is that they have like these little, like the chest up there, which is like basically, it's optional to get it. And so, you know, I like the fact that they give you little um, chests and things like little optional areas for you to go to, <coughs> which I do really like. Fuck you. Right, that almost worked. There we go. Right, I know how to do it now. Oh, just about. Let's open that up. Cool. And away we go. Oh, where the fuck did you come from? You were up there just like a few minutes, a couple of seconds ago. God, you're quick. What am I doing here? Oh, right, that's the right. Sorry. Sorry, I got turned around there for a minute. 
<laughs> Alright, let's whack that. Let's whack that open. Uh, yeah, I think... That way opened with that thing, so now I'm going to be opening... Going this way, because it seems like it might be the... Nope. <laughs> I think that's the way forward, so let's backtrack. Thank you for dying quickly. And we'll see what we can grab. Oh yeah. It's just an optional chest. And some goodies. Thank you. Byako Fang. Which is a uh, a special um, core for us to put into our weapons. Of the wind type. So kind of useful. Alright, let's keep going and up we go yeah it's time for you guys to thank you for dying but yeah seriously they t they're taking a fair few hits wow you didn't <laughs> you went down like a bitch okay uh, obviously right I need to go obviously this way first because there's gonna be a Switch. Oh, look at that. A switch we need to hit. Oh, shit. Yes. This guy is... What am I doing? What am I doing there? <laughs> this guy is kind of annoying. Um, hits pretty hard. Has some uh, And moves around fairly quickly. Uh, so it's kind of difficult to uh, hit them. Uh, hit him. Sorry. And... Uh, so yeah, pretty tough asshole, but um, <laughs> we beat him in the end, pretty comfortably. Thank you for dying. Took too long. There we go. Alright, more shit to pick up. Let's keep going. Like I said, this is, um, it's something that I've um, seen with... Um, the eclipses which are the optional eclipses which are in new game plus uh, all of them are fairly linear they just have they just have like more difficult uh, mini bosses and stronger enemies for you to go through but with that we're pretty much done so let's uh, whack this shit open and there we go and we can play a game of roulette. Damn, baby. And we're done. So there you go. That's the optional dungeon. Done at rank S, baby. I'm so good. But there you go. Like I say, it's pretty. It's a very straightforward um, eclipse to go through. Not difficult at all. And for that, we get an extra uh, affinity shard. So now it's we're done with the side quests. We're done with the optional eclipse. <clears throat> so that means what we uh, we've just got to do the friendship episodes now. Um, and we're starting off going to talk to Asuka. So let's get going. Yeah, maybe you should ask for some help, yes, uh, uh, Asuka, instead of just hiding in a tree. <laughs> and Ko is, um, as is going to be brought up fa uh, fairly quickly, uh, 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 Ko is kind of oblivious to this kind of thing. And Asuka kind of gets it <laughs> immediately. Yes, friends. Uh, yeah, pretty much. And, oh yeah, this is very stereotypically kind of anime, you know, the, <laughs> uh, the girl noticing that, you know, one of his arms is, um, you know, wet because he's staying, isn't getting under the umbrella as much because he's trying to cover her up. It's very stereotypical anime, that really. <laughs> yeah, so oh, that's um, Ryota's friend that we saw um, 
uh, during the last chapter. Uh, and basically she and and Co kind of <laughs> she covers up for uh, Co fairly quickly there because she thinks that um <laughs> that maybe something's going on there. So yeah, that's what I mean by Co. He's kind of the stereotypical um, harem anime kind of character where he's kind of oblivious to all this romance shit. <laughs> but there you go. And a par for the course. <laughs> Consider it my thanks for early. Yeah, he doesn't get it. He's like, mm, what do you need to thank me for? I just did what was obvious. Yeah, and that's kind of, kind of a nice moment here for Ko where he's like, yeah, I just, you're a comrade in arms, not just because of the job, but because, you know, we're friends now, man. Hang out, you know, chill. <laughs> and she's got all, ugh, I, I shouldn't have let that happen. <laughs> he's going to get the wrong idea. But anyway, that's going to be it for this part of um, Tokyo Xanadu X Plus. Join me next time when we'll be finishing off the, the rest of the um, uh, friendship episodes and we'll be continuing the story. So join me next time for the next part of Tokyo Xanadu EX+. <sighs> See you next time. <laughs>